Dude, it's the Samsung Galaxy Book 2. Seriously, awesome Windows laptop. Let's see whether this is better than a Dell XPS 13. I recently reviewed the Dell XPS. You can go check that video out at the end of this one. And it's been the device that has been my biggest video to date. In a month or two, I don't even know, tens of thousands of views and lots and lots of comments. So a lot of you are looking for a lowish price, thousand-ish kind of dollars, 13-inch ultra portable Windows device that can get the job done, give you decent battery life, not too much heat, and the latest 12th gen Intel chips. A couple months ago, I probably would have been like you and thought Dell XPS 13 is the number one choice. I mean, Dell's a big manufacturer, everybody's heard of him, XPS has been a best-selling device forever. And then I was wasting time online because like none of us have ever done that. And I noticed that this little baby was on sale at Best Buy last week for $699. 16 gig, 512 SSD, i7 12th gen, and an OLED screen. It's called OLED because it's like OLED. It's incredible. And so I picked one up. I actually picked up four. Don't tell anybody. You can check my other video out for a full review on this. Even not on sale. This is in that $1,000 price point, except you get more spec than you do with the Dell, which you have to upgrade to get to 16 and 512. They do an 8 gig 256, but in the immortal words of my recent commentator, selling an 8 gig 256 gig machine should be illegal. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with you, but I did just buy some for my staff, so I can't agree with you too much. In my full review, I talk about all the things that matter to this device. So here, I just wanna focus on the comparisons. And on the chassis, the first big comparison is the Samsung is a fingerprint magnet and the Dell isn't. If those things don't bother you, all power to you. I wish they didn't bother me, but they do. The other thing I like about this over the Dell is Dell gives you two USB-C ports. Samsung, on the other hand, they give me the two USB-Cs here, one of which is Thunderbolt 4, but I also get an HDMI. Listen, I don't think HDMI is something that should only be on high-end devices. Lots of people in my conference rooms need to plug in an HDMI to present to a screen, and a $1,000 machine is very, very kind of reasonable to spend on an everyday computer for work. I think that's a bit of a miss on Dell's side, and I think it's a bit of a bonus on Samsung's. The other thing on this side, which I really like, Full-size USB-A. Full-size, people. No dongle. Plug in and go. Headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. You don't even get a headphone jack on the XPS anymore. Definitely no micro SD card slot and no USB-A. So from a ports perspective, the Samsung is wiping the floor with the XPS right now. And honestly, the physical size and chassis is about the same. I mean, we're talking millimeters here, millimeters there, whatever. It feels great in your hand. It actually feels a little bit larger for some reason. It might be an optical illusion. The Dell just feels so small. The trackpad feels so tight. This just feels a whisker, a cat's whisker, better. And then you get to the other thing, which is... Can't do that with a Dell XPS 13. Now, I know they make a two-in-one. Okay, just, just take it easy. But this only comes like this. And it was $6.99. I didn't have to pay extra. Okay? Full touch screen, which is nice. The Dells don't give you all that. On their base model, it's 1920 by 1080. And it's non-touch. This is touch. And did I mention it was OLED? And the Dell is a regular LED screen? This is still a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So it's not like it's higher res. It's just higher quality. And I gotta tell you, it's really nice. This is easily on par with the Dell OLEDs. I'll see if I can show you some footage here because we did a screen comparison with the 15 OLED. And so I'm gonna show you some of that. And I'm gonna show you just some shots here of the Samsung. You can see more in the full review, but here's a couple of them. So you can see some oodling blacks from this awesome 4K LG demo video for OLED screens. And then here's a couple of nice wallpaper shots for you as well so that you can get a, a little bit of a feel for how they look compared to an XPS 13. The keyboard feels great. The Dell keyboard feels great. The trackpad feels great on this. Very firm, 
very solid, and I've had no issues. And I can't say that a lot about Dell XPS devices. So again, that kind of leans me in Samsung's corner. And you're probably getting the gist of this by now. In pretty much any area you look at, the Samsung seems to be superior to a Dell XPS 9315. And I wasn't really expecting to think that when I picked one of these up to play around with it. I actually only bought it because somebody in the comments asked me if I would do a review on a Samsung Galaxy Book 2. And I thought to myself, I've already done one on the 15-inch Pro, but then I saw them on sale and figured, well, you know, why not? And listen, before everybody goes in the comments and leaves me like a list of 900 devices, I appreciate it when you ask me to review stuff. Just remember, Uncle Mikey has to buy this stuff, okay? So I can't buy everything and I can't do like comparisons with, you know, nine different devices and the most obscure thing from China here and something else there. Like, I'm only human, folks. I'm doing the best I can. I've got like a day job as well. So I will try and on this one, I managed to succeed. So you are welcome if that was you and you're watching. I really don't know what on the Dell XPS 13 I like more than on the Samsung. It feels thinner. It feels nicer in the hand. The screen is nicer. I like the fact that I can flip it around, even though I don't really do it a whole lot. The keyboards are about equal par, same kind of travel, same kind of firm stop. So very, very little to split them between the two. I kind of like the trackpad on this one, particularly because it works. And that sounds terrible, but they'll have some real quality control issues with their trackpads. And then ultimately, I like the ports because there's tons of them. And it's a good spec device, oodles of RAM at 16 gig, 512 SSD, an i7 U series chip. It's a killer deal. There is no way I would buy an XPS 13 over this device today. Samsung have got themselves a winner with this laptop. If you haven't seen it, you need to go check it out. If you want to learn more about it, go see my full review on this. If you want to learn more about the XPS 13, go see my full review on that. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, let's go out there and be amazing.